Okay, hello everyone again. Let's continue now in this series on discrete maths about functions specifically for programmers and computer scientists. So again, I'm going to make no assumptions. I'm just going to keep it really simple, just how I wanted it to be. Okay, so let's say you can see I've got this function. Now, I've deliberately drawn them out a bit more circular, <laughs> not perfect, but rather than the sort of oblongs for a reason, as you'll see in a moment. So you can see I've got the set A on the left and set B on the right. So just to get us started, let's start doing and over here, let's do in lowercase. We just remember that A is our domain because we start in A and B is our codomain because that is where they map to. Now, maybe I've done this a bit early because they haven't mapped yet, but either way, that's how we're going to have it. OK, OK, so let's draw these out. So one maps to C, starting with one, two maps to A, three also maps to C, and four maps to B. Okay, just as a sort of example assignment. Now, if we are then talking about the image, we also have to consider a subset within the codomain of B. So B is actually a set. And it's easiest to draw it and all we need to really say now is that the image of and its element one because if i look up here one is an element or a member of set a right member or element is and what does it map to c and on the flip side then the pre-image of element C is 1. So we can just see this is that inverse relationship, okay? The image is looking from your domain over to your codomain, and the pre image is the reverse, simply put. Remember, check out the playlist for more videos on discrete maths and functions. Thanks for watching.